Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I got some huge Chicago Bulls news, but before I get into that, make sure you guys are in my Bulls group chat. It's the first link below today's video, and the draft is pretty much two weeks away. During the draft, I'm, I'm going to have like a live chat over there, so definitely join my chat and be prepared for that. That will be cool to talk to you guys with and just watch the draft. Also, check out my last video if you missed it. It had some like little news and little leaks about the Bulls, possibly bringing back Chris Dunn and Denzel Valentine. Definitely check out that video if you missed it. But yeah, let's just jump right into today's video because today's video is an important one. You know, Billy Donovan has been like currently like trying to rebuild his coaching staff. You know, he fired pretty much every Chicago Bulls like former assistant when Jim Boylan brought them in. I believe we kept Chris Fleming. There hasn't been much news or rumors on that. I expect he's just staying with us on the coaching staff because him and our Torres worked together in Denver. And I know a lot of Bulls players really respect him and just liked him as like an assistant coach. And I also made a video the other day. The Bulls hired John Bryant as like an assistant coach or like I think he's a player development coach. He's one or the other. Definitely check out that video. You know, he, he's worked like in both roles in his career. So I don't really know what the Bulls like see him as, but either way, it's good to see that the Bulls added him like a few days ago. And some big news came out this morning. The Chicago Bulls have hired Bucks assistant Josh Longstaff for Billy Donovan's coaching staff. You know, for Longstaff, it is like an opportunity to elevate to like a front of the bench assistant. You know, he also worked in OKC before B Billy Donovan arrived. So that's pretty cool how like everything comes full circle like that. You know, he also worked for the Knicks and in the G League before the Milwaukee Bucks. You know, I don't really know much about this guy. I have heard that he's really respected around, around the league and players love him. I mean, and we just got him from a great organization and a great team in Milwaukee. So I'm, of course, happy that Billy Donovan picked him up. You know, he is also a former head coach of the Atlanta Hawks in the G League, like I said. So that's cool to see. And he also worked in player development with the Knicks and Thunder. So, of course, the Bulls are still beefing up their player development staff because our Taurus only, like, when he came in, Jim Boylan or our last front office only had one player working with every player, like, every Chicago Bulls player on the roster trying to get them better. And that was just set up to fail. So, I'm happy, like, Billy Donovan, our Taurus, and Mark Eversley are just building, of course, their coaching staff right now and a big player development staff. I've said, like, I'd say we hired at least five to seven guys for our player development staff. So, that just makes me happy to hear. And during Josh Longstaff's like time in like New York with the Knicks, he earned the title of like Christoph Porzingis. You know, he was like his favorite coach and everything and really helped him become the player he is today. So everything about this guy is just great news, man. I'm really excited for this hire. If any other news or rumors about him or any other coaching staff members come out, I'll of course keep you guys updated. But one more thing, Billy Donovan did hire one more player or one more like coach to add to his coaching staff. And he's a big one. I've made many videos about this. This was pretty much just given. Every like Chicago Bulls fan expected this to happen. And this morning, Oklahoma City's assistant Maurice Cheeks like has officially joined Billy Donovan's coaching staff as an assistant coach with the Chicago Bulls. You know, I've made many videos on this guy saying the Bulls should pick him up. You know, every season in OKC with Billy Donovan, Maurice Cheeks was there and they made the playoffs every season and just had great seasons in OKC. You know, they're good friends. They've worked together for like six plus years. So it was just given. And also Maurice Cheeks is from Chicago. So that's cool to see that he's coming home. You know, of course, like I said, he coached with Billy. He's from Chicago. It just made too much sense. And I'm really happy this finally happened. And, you know, of course, I'm happy with the assistant coach signing of Maurice Cheeks. But put that besides, you know, he's a Hall of Fame point guard. He's really going to help out like Kobe White, Zach Levine. If the Bulls draft a point guard at four, I feel like he's going to he's the biggest hire of his coaching staff. And I'd honestly say this hiring is one of the biggest of the Bulls offseason. You know, he's going to do so much little things with Kobe White, Zach Levine and just our point guards and backcourt like players to just help them become better players. I mean, this guy was a, is a Hall of Fame point guard. You know, he's just going to fit in well with the Chicago Bulls. And I'm so happy with this hiring. You know, like I said, it was, re it was really expected around the league. But I'm just really happy Billy, Billy Donovan, like, got this done. If any other news or rumors come out about, like, Billy Donovan adding more players to his coaching staff or player development staff, 
I'll of course make a video on it and keep you guys updated. Definitely leave any comments or questions below today's video about these coaching staff hirings and more. You know, I'm going to also be talking about more topics in a minute. You know, on Brandon Scoops, he's a big like NBA reporter and just like media source. He had like a podcast the other day and Isaiah Thomas was talking about the Chicago Bulls. And Isaiah Thomas really likes the hire. You know, he said it's a good hire. And the reason why I think that it's a good hire is because Chicago is a young team and they need a leader, which is very true. Jim Boylan was not the head coach for us. And not only are the Chicago Bulls a young team, he said, they're a very young team with a lot of talent that Billy will be familiar with, with the players and their talent. Because Billy is really familiar with the Bulls and their talent because he scouted all of them when they were in high school. So he knows exactly what he's walking into, the type of players he's about to coach. So I think the Chicago Bulls has a chance with Billy and Murray's cheeks. You know, Isaiah Thomas said this the other day on the podcast. And I'm going to be honest, I didn't make like much of it. But now that I look back at it, he kind of leaked this news before it like, became official. So that's cool to see. You know, I'm really excited for uh, Billy Donovan to like like officially meet our guys more than he already has. I know he's met like a few in person and had some Zoom calls, but I'm really excited for the Chicago Bulls training camp coming up. You know, Billy to like officially like coach the players, like show them his offense, defense, schemes and such and just meet them as players because every like Billy Donovan like formal player has talked nothing but positivity about him. All his like past players loved him as a head coach. I'm just really excited, man. The Bulls' future is looking bright. You know, the draft is in like two weeks. Definitely join my group chat. We've been talking about that every day. You know, Billy's finally finishing his coaching staff. I said that in one of my past videos. I expected the Bulls' coaching staff to be like completely done before the draft just for everything to be like completely easy just because the NBA draft is coming up quick. Like I said, it's in a like a little more than like I think it's like in 16 or 18 days, pretty much two weeks, pretty close. And then who knows when next season's like coming back. I believe that should be announced at the end of this week or next week. I'll keep you guys updated on that. And then for your agency, you know, I've seen it might start December 1st with like training camp and such. Or if like the season does start December 22nd, it's going to start like 48 hours after the NBA draft. So Mark, so our tourists, Mark Eversley and Billy Donovan have a crazy few months in the like, next. They have a lot of work cut for them. I'm really excited for the Bulls' future. Like I said, I, I'm loving all these hirings, all the firings our tourists did earlier this offseason. Definitely leave any comments or questions about these hirings below. You know, definitely check out any of my past videos if you missed it. There's been a lot of news and rumors I've been posting every day on. I'm also going to have a big video out tomorrow with some more Bulls news. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.